welcome back to Crooks in a Caravan. We are down in Margaret River at the RAC Margaret River <laughs> Nature Park. We've just been on a wine and gin tasting, <laughs> so if there's any strange expressions going on, one of us was the designated driver, the other was the designated drinker. <laughs> As you can see by the signs, we're walking to town. Uh, the town being Margaret River. In fact, we're not actually walking to town, we're walking to the Margaret River brew house for a drink and something to eat. Uh, we've just arrived at RAC Nature Park in Margaret River. Um, we've just set the van up and we're now heading out for lunch. Dinner. Dinner. And yeah. it's going to be dark by the time we're walking back along this path. <laughs> so that may be interesting. So we've got a big torch, or a good torch, and we'll... I've had a few drinks, so it should all be safe. <laughs> yeah. So this is some of what we're going to have to contend with uh, when we come back in the dark after having some drinks. Check out my shoes. White. They're white now. <laughs> <laughs> We just ordered dessert, but it's only to share and we've got two spoons and it's fruit and we need it to get ourselves home. Banana spring rolls? <laughs> so this is walking home through the bush after a really nice meal, a few drinks at the Margaret River Brew House. We're out of breath because we've just come up a hill. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just going to turn the torch off and show you how dark it is in these, well, like we're literally in the middle of the bush. Here we go, hang on. And back on. Yeah, all right, we'll let you know when we get home safely. <laughs> it's absolutely pissing down. Um, and we'll clean up later. Um, had a nice cup of coffee in the uh, cafe and we're just looking at the new distillery and tavern which is opening in Carrara West Winds. I think um, it says end of October. So not for us today, but maybe uh, a good plan for another time and we'll have to look for something else. Be cold? Yeah. <laughs> There you go, that's the track that we've done, the Wadandi track. Apparently look a bit splattered, but I don't believe it. So these are pretty big decent sites. Um, it's like you're camping in the bushland with the convenience of power and water. Which actually at this time of year has been really good because we've had the heater running, we've not got a <laughs> diesel heater, we're still in that debate phase. Um, but yeah, being able to be plugged into power yep. has um, meant that we could keep warm. Yeah, as we will show you, we have been out on the um, bikes quite a bit. We did a ride um, Saturday to Kawaram up which was just under 25 k's there and back and then we did a ride to Witchcliffe which was just under 30 k's there and back. So they've had quite a bit of use. Um, we've also got the fire pit out. We haven't used it. Well, I was going to light it last night but it decided to um, piss down. It's been a bit chilly. It is the last weekend of winter. Um, so it's been a bit fresh, a bit showery at times. Quite nice now though. And it's been good to have the power for the bikes to charge them. So yeah. I guess that's something for us to consider longer term. It does every couple of days if we're using them, they do need a charge. Um, so how we do that if we're not on power? Yeah. Maybe Macca's. Or a Jenny. Or a Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the car's there. That will show you around. Um, good thing about this place, and it's probably quite unique is there's a lot of mountain bike trails around um, Margaret River. Uh, not just the trails to Kawarama from Witchcliffe, but also proper full-on mountain bike trails. So you get a lot of cyclists here. 
Uh, there's a play area. Um, this has been more popular with a couple of kookaburras, which I'll drop a photo in, than the kids. I think the park um, is owned by RAC now, probably been owned by RAC for 12 months, two years, I'm not really sure. Um, they've not done an awful lot of changes to it. We came to it probably four or five years ago. Um, it's still quite a small park, really. Mm -hmm. um, I think what they have done is they've added a whole load of glamping tents. Um, which I don't think, I think some of the original ones were here a few years ago, but I think they've added more. Um, but the actual number of caravan sites is actually quite limited. Mm. And they're all um, powered. And they're all powered, yeah. And they're all sort of dirt, uh, no grass or anything. Or, but, or slabs even. Yeah. Yeah, so, but quite a nice feel. These are the newer safari tents, they call them. These seem to be quite popular. I reckon these have been full mostly all weekend. Yeah. Um, there's obviously still a few cars at them now, but a lot of them I think are empty now because people have been here for the weekend. The really big plus about this place is um, you can walk into Margaret River. Um, so, what, 15 minute walk, I think, down the um, bush track, which yeah, we did do. We've, we've, we've done, done a couple, couple of times. times. And we did it in the dark, so um, that was so pretty cool. really good just to get down into town and back again. There's a few of these murals around the place. That one's pretty cool. I'll show you a scary one in a minute. Um, this is the old shed. It's got barbecues, uh, tables, ping pong, um, and is also attached to the camp kitchen area, which is through that hatch over there. But I've just got to show you this Scary also mural. Also got a um, seating area out the um, outside there and a communal fire area. I think that was lit on Friday night. Uh, I don't think it was lit last night. And we do find this mural a little bit disturbing. Camp kitchen, fairly well equipped. Uh, like a little stove and oven there and the rings at the back, kettle toasters. Microwave. There was a hive oh. of activity actually this morning. Yeah. There was um, people galore in here cooking up Sunday breakfast. Yeah, big fridge. And then look out onto the shed. Brand new laundry block. With all your standard things. Four dollars for a wash, that's not bad actually. Are they dry as I know? <laughs> uh, ironing board, sinks. There's two pollution blocks. This is the older one. New one's not open yet. Fairly modern. Decent, nice, clean showers, as you'd expect from an RAC park. They also offer dormitory accommodation, which is in there. Um, no idea what that's like. <laughs> we also have old safari tents, which we're heading towards. Okay. And some cabins. And cabins, but I'll show you those when we get around the other side. A couple of, lots of cabins here. Not that many, just about four or five actually. <laughs> Yeah. And at, when we were here four or five years ago, my mum and dad had one of the cabins and we camped over here with the mm. kids. Um, it was torrential rain that week as well. It's January, summer. Yeah. Uh, reception area, they do baikai here. You can hire, they call them braziers, I'd call it a little fire pit. Um, basic supplies, I think some milk and sodas and stuff like that. Um, and they do do uh, coffees as well so okay. you can get a coffee here um, I think probably the bike hire I, I guess they're probably all right here but there's um, a bike hire place down in town right by the um, train place the probably. hairy marron um, and I suspect you get a bit more of a variety there actually you can hire e-bikes there which is the same as I've got Uh, that's the 
new ablution block which is closed at the moment I'm not sure if it's even opened yet like yeah. I wonder whether it's just brand new or whether it's just not open because the park isn't very busy mm. I don't know so this is a really keen mountain biking area uh, so much so the park in the bike wash station um, we used this yesterday? yesterday we haven't bothered again today because we'll probably try some trails tomorrow and wash it after that when we get home the park situated in a, a national park, park. <laughs> I'll put the name in can't remember what it's called Wajijijop or something um, beautiful location big mature trees can have fires but only from 5 till 10 yeah um, which yeah this time of year it would be good to be able to light it a little bit earlier we did resort to the heater last night rather than the fire um, not sure yet about tonight yeah but beautiful spot and um, if you're an RAC member you get a discount and I would recommend it yeah I think it amounted for two adults about $30 a night yeah. so really quite reasonable yeah. for power and water um, so lots of I'll bang you up there lots of empty sites but it is Sunday afternoon we're lucky we still got two more nights before we go home <laughs> more gin tasting to do <laughs> brewery tomorrow dear. Uh, it's a different day we're on a different bike ride today uh, we've gone from Margaret River to Witchcliff. gives you a bit of different scenery this is a lot more open areas with paddocks and uh, farms and we spotted these on the way there cute baby cows rain has held off the wind has dropped so it's not too freezing um, it's gone five o'clock so I will just stop it here and show you something we've got a fire and a woody it is freezing <laughs> it's better than it was we've got drinks uh, we've got the Weber on we've got a pork thing going in there Hopefully it'll stay dry and we can enjoy the fire for a couple of hours before we retire into the van and the heater. And more importantly, it's Sunday night and we're still in the van looking at a fire, cooking dinner. So another day and another bike ride. We have cycled from Margaret River down to Preveley Beach. Uh, we're at the Surfers Point car park yep. um, and the waves are massive and there's some crazy people catching them. Pretty good though. down south and we have come for lunch at Wild Hot Brewing Company. Uh, amazing chicken and duck potatoes and cauliflower. cauliflower. Indian spice cauliflower. Do be warned if you are coming book your table but also book your chicken because the chickens sell out so you have to pre-book your chicken <laughs> which sounds um, bizarre but it's um, worth worth booking so yeah recommend it enjoy. And do your clothes shopping. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>